Okay, now that we established what the matched exit looks like, let's see all the other outcomes that are really not matched. So let's now start from some back pressure that would be pretty high but lower the, than critical value in our case critical value for subsonic solution was 0.98 so let's say it's maybe 0.8 or something uh, the ratio of P over P naught smack number what is uh, going to happen in the nozzle this pressure is lower than the critical pressure for the subsonic regime so we know that at the throat the, the pressure will continue to drop Mach number will go above 1 and we reach supersonic regime here however the pressure at the, at the end is definitely going to be subsonic and anytime we have subsonic pressure at the exit then we have pressure at the exit equal pressure at the back pressure so this is 4 so given that this is subsonic regime here in the region close to to the exit we will have subsonic flow and uh, it will basically mean that velocity is going to go down and pressure is going up as in sub is any subsonic solution so here we have this situation and here we have this situation similarly here Mach number is going up here and somewhere at the exit given that this is subsonic so solution let's say Mach number is some subsonic value so in other words Mach number near the exit will go down so how can this be reconciled with this and the same situation here well the only way is if we have the shock wave somewhere in in the nozzle so then the, the Mach will Mach number will increase to a certain value and then at that point we will have a jump to a subsonic value and then a redu reduction to, to the exit condition so how do we know how big the jump there is well it's a tricky thing to do when we, all we know for now is that uh, uh, that uh, shock is somewhere inside the nozzle in this region so if we now go and look at our normal shock table then for every uh, supersonic Mach number there's a corresponding subsonic Mach number so, uh, so MAX is um, uh, upstream supersonic value and uh, corresponding MAY so uh, by trial and error we could basically trace the the Mach number here as if it were all uh, subsonic and then we could also for each of these values of supersonic we could find out what the jump is and uh, I'm sure that what I draw here is not exactly the position that would correspond to this pressure but this is just for illustration so essentially <coughs> Um, uh, regime 4 is such that again we have PE equals P4 PB we have the situation that what we would call here PT plus is less than PT uh, or less than critical we have acceleration that Mach at the, after the throat is larger than 1 but Mach exit is less than 1 it's subsonic and it is definitely so many po solutions possible many paths let's call it
I, in case 7 we can say here unique path or trajectory. In other words, for a given nozzle geometry there can be only a single path for Mach number along and there is going to be a single path for pressure ratio relative to to the um, so, uh, supersonic case. So uh, we cannot uh, essentially uh, draw use isentropic car chart here entirely but what we can do we can recognize that although this is now non-isotropic flow because there is a jump in entropy at the shock wave we can still say that this is isentropic flow from the beginning to the shock and after the shock to the the exit value now after the shock the pressure the p naught uh, has a new value so this is why uh, this top region that we that was ending up at 0.98 I can actually trace it just for reference that was uh, for this particular p naught upstream after the shock that p naught upstream is no longer valid it's a different value so that would be the case 4 and then case 5 uh, as we decrease further pressure back pressure at some point in each of these cases between critical and this case where P equals PB 5 we will have same uh, equal exit pressure to the back pressure now at some point we reach the case where the jump is exactly at the exit so that subsonic exit shock at the exit in this case we can actually fairly nicely uh, do the calculation of all the values because we know the Mach number right before the shock is the same as Mach number would be for matched nozzle it cannot be any different save for the shock and then for that Mach number we can use basically this table let's see in our case it was 2.8 so we're like here and we can easily say that, aha, uh -huh, okay, in this case, our Mach number after the shock is here, which is, let's say, so we can say M-A-Y, or in our case, yes, uh, M E we we'll just use M for Mach number and E would be for exit would be 0 0.4 0 0.45 0 0.48 let's say for that same Mach number our pressure ratio is PY minus PX which is P y minus p x equals nine here, and you can also see that there is a ratio of of uh, stagnation pressures. So <coughs> we would have basically uh, the ratio of stagnation pressures uh, would be 0.39. So we still have PE equals P4. Um, this is also unique pattern. There can be only one solution where the shock is exactly at the end. So that's the end of this part and we'll move on to the remaining uh, two cases in the next segment.